Hey, what's up guys? I hope you're all having a great day, and today I want to do a laid back cut cum, just giving my opinion on something that I've been wanting to talk about for a while, and the thing that sort of caused me to make a video about this is the fact that my mom's a middle school teacher, and she was teaching her class one day, and I guess I had some sort of off time, so careers was brought up, and somehow YouTube got in the mix of the conversation, so all these kids were talking about YouTube, saying how YouTube could be a possible career and a job and stuff like that, and then for whatever reason, my mom brought up my channel, she was like, oh, my son has a channel or something like that. So obviously, the kids got really interested, and they ended up asking her, oh, what's your son's channel? So I ended up getting a text from my mom in the middle of class and she was like no what's your youtube channel name and i was like what what a weird question to ask in the middle of the day like isn't she supposed to be teaching kids so i saw the text and i ended up replying with something like oh why and then she was like oh my students want to see your channel so i decided to tell her my channel i was like why not if these kids want to know about my channel maybe they'll check me out and maybe just watch a couple of my videos and i was like eh what's the worst that could happen and to be honest i don't really want my parents too interested in my youtube channel because it would just be super awkward right like let's say one morning i just go downstairs for breakfast and then my mom's like Hey, no, I saw your video last night. That was pretty good. Like, that would just be such an awkward feeling, but she doesn't watch my videos that much. I don't even think she watches them at all, which is a good thing for me because, like I said, it would be really, really awkward. So these kids saw that I had about, like, a 1,000 subs and I was getting 150 views every video. So these kids, they got really interested and they were like, oh, how much money is he making? So my mom ended up texting me asking me how much I make, and I was like, money? I don't even put ads on my videos. I mean, if I did put ads on my videos, I'd probably earn, like, maybe $10 a month. I don't even know the rates that well, to be honest, so that's probably not 100% accurate, and I began to realize that maybe these kids were thinking about doing YouTube and thinking that they could make money off of this stuff. And listen guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. If you're going into YouTube with the mentality of, hey, I could do this as a summer job, you know, just make a bunch of gaming videos, have fun with it, and then just like make like a hundred dollars a video. Like, if you're going into YouTube with that sort of mentality, I mean, that's obviously a little bit exaggerated, but if you're thinking about doing YouTube for the money or anything like that, chances are you're gonna have a bad time and you're gonna be very very disappointed because YouTube is a very competitive community and it's very very hard to grow these days unless you know somebody with like a lot of subscribers who's willing to I guess do a collab with you or a sub box you or something like that then I guess you could get a few subscribers from it but even then you probably wouldn't be making that much because the truth is unless you have like maybe 50,000 100,000 you're really not gonna be making that much from YouTube because most YouTubers around like the thousands they make like probably 10 20 maybe even 50 dollars a month depending on the amount of views that they get and the issue with people going into youtube to get money and stuff like that like what they'll do sometimes is they'll pay for partnerships where like they'll have like a five percent off code if they pay a certain price and i've seen a lot of small youtubers with these kinds of sponsorships like fucking no scope glasses like who the fuck is gonna buy no scope glasses like real talk here what the fuck is a no scope glass like i go to the website and it's just like glasses like Gaming glasses? Are, are you fucking serious? Like, geez, why would you have such a ridiculous sponsorship? But like I said, the issue with these kids going into YouTube for the money is the fact that they're so desperate to get subscribers, they're so desperate to have these sponsorships. The way that some of them grow, they just spam comment sections, they have these fucking shoutout Sunday series, and come on guys, like, real talk here, shoutout Sundays, they're fucking scamming, and if you really want to win a shoutout Sunday, you have to be super active, you have to kiss their ass, and... There's a very, very small chance you'll actually win the shadow unless you make really, really good content and you're their friend or something like that. So when they go on your small Minecraft Let's Play channel and they're like, Hey dude, bro, I have a shout out series and I think you make really, really great content. I can get you two to three hundred active subscribers. You know, it's a fucking scam. You're not going to win their shadow. And I just thought that I would get that out there because I feel like a lot of people that do that, it just kind of demonstrates that they're desperate for subscribers and they're desperate for views. And at the end of the day, trying to get YouTube money and just trying to turn YouTube into a job. Like I've seen so many people just be like you know I just want to do YouTube as a job it's a really great hobby of mine and I just really hope that one day that I can be able to do YouTube as a job but the way that these people just grow it's like it just shows their desperation I don't know that's just my opinion I'm not really mad at anyone for trying to grow their channel that way and hats off to them for growing their channels but then there's the other type of people that go into YouTube for money they have no experience whatsoever and they try to make this content and they end up quitting because they're just really mad that they're not getting views because in 2016 if you go make a channel you just start uploading random videos the likelihood of you actually getting noticed by people is very, 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 very small. I mean, you might get spam comments that increase your views a little bit, but that's really all that's going to happen to your channel by doing YouTube for a month or two. Unless you make really, really good content, then people might notice you, but you really got to get yourself out there. In my opinion, YouTube is just best done as a hobby, and if you're not doing YouTube for a hobby, and you're primarily doing it with the intent of doing it as a job or something like that, chances are you're going to have a bad time. But hey, you never know. You might be really good at what you do, and if you're really good at what you do, then that passion or hobby could become a job. But you gotta work really hard in it and just not give up and that's a problem and a lot of people just give up because it's not easy YouTube is not easy at all and more and more I've been realizing how hard it actually is to grow on YouTube and what I've been realizing is that the only channels that seem to be growing are the channels that are connected to larger youtubers like Shoreby, Syro, um, Mobulated, Quartable, just to name a few like those guys make good content but they all got huge boosts from other youtubers and then the other kinds of youtubers that just grow from spamming smaller channels and then the third kind of youtuber who just makes content to make content and then they just upload it, maybe they share it with a couple of friends and then they get off like 
Those YouTubers, they usually grow very, very slowly, and it's very, very rare that the third kind of YouTuber gets successful, but I've seen it happen, and it's definitely possible, but it takes a lot of determination and a lot of effort, and a little bit of luck. And so that's basically my whole opinion on YouTube, YouTube money, and stuff like that. I don't even know what I'm gonna title this video. I guess this was sort of just real talk, me just voicing my opinion. I don't even know if there was like a set topic in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. Thank you guys so much for watching, and like always, stay awesome. Peace.